everything I need is a little bit of silence. And that's why I love active noise cancelling headphones. They're one of the greatest inventions ever. And these are the new Sonos Ace. Sonos first headphones. And actually, they surprised me in many, many ways. This video is sponsored by Sonos. They did send me the headphones before launch and I was able to test them, but I'm free in my opinion as always. These headphones do have a super minimalistic design. There are no bright logos or strange decorations. It's just a beautiful curved shape. Although they are pleasantly light, they don't feel cheap. On the contrary, the plastic looks super robust and the matte surface feels great. The adjustment area is made out of polished stainless steel and super smooth. The joints are soft and flexible too. The pads are made out of vegan leather and filled with memory foam. The ear cups are relatively large, even my ears fit underneath it without bumping into anything. I was able to wear them for 4-5 to five hours without any problems. They just got a little warm sometimes. The fabric in the right ear cover is mint green, so you can quickly distinguish between left and right, which is a clever and also beautiful idea. The ear cups can be easily removed magnetically for washing or direct replacement. A small but nice detail, with most headphones, buttons are super hard to feel and have a strange mushy point of pressure. But here, they are really nice and deep and you can feel them perfectly when you press them and you don't touch them accidentally like touch areas. If I didn't know any better, I would believe that Sonos had years and years of experience building headphones, because they feel like they do. And this is the case. On first glance, it might look quite regular, but actually it feels really nice. It's very nice fabric. It's actually built out of 75% recycled plastic bottles. If I didn't know any better, I would think that Sonos has years of experience in headphones. And the case also reflects this impression. It might look basic at first, but as soon as you touch it, you will fall in love. It's made out of a coarse, felt-like material that consists of 75% recycled plastic bottles. In the inside it's completely mint colored, it is very robust but still pleasantly compact and there's a little pouch room in the inside with magnets for the cable. The only thing, and I don't know how it happened, the underside is really dirty on mine, luckily you can wash it off easily. Everything is wonderfully well thought out. And the best example is the controls. You can either press the stainless steel button to pause music or skip between tracks. But you can also slide up and down to adjust the volume. I think this is just brilliant. You could simply connect these headphones with Bluetooth and that's all they are. Headphones. And they would do what headphones do. But there's also the Sonos app. You can use it to update the A's, adjust the EQ and because it is a Sonos product, you can pair the headphones with other Sonos products. In other words, you can enjoy loud Dolby Atmos surround with other people in the room or being disturbed by them. The whole thing includes head tracking for movies in relation to the position of your head to the soundbar. Because the connection runs via Wi-Fi, it is very stable and latency and loss free. You can also listen to 3D audio on your smartphone if the song and the streaming provider support it. The only thing supported right now is the Sonos A soundbar, but there is more to come. You can connect a maximum of two devices via Bluetooth and the headphones switch automatically between them. Of course, there's also play pause when you put them down and you can listen to music with USB-C or the aux cable. Lossless is supported for all options, which is the highest quality possible. When buying an expensive headphone, you have a certain expectation of the sound quality. I do like good sounding headphones. I'm quite picky. I want to hear the sound the way the artist intended it to be. Sonos has developed its own drivers. These are dynamic 40mm drivers. The result? The Ace sound really powerful straight out of the box. I was immediately struck by how spacious they sound. As if the instruments are spread out around a large stage and not only two small speakers directly on my ears. And that makes everything sound higher quality, more lively and somehow fresher. It's an accurate sound profile, intense but not exaggerated bass, a warm voice, it's not metallic or too high. I can only think of two groups of people who won't like it. People that are looking for super spectacular sound that turns every song into a more extreme version of itself or audio experts because 
or your experts have always to criticize something. So not only for the first headphones from Sonos, but generally compared to all ANC headphones, I think they are above average. I was particularly impressed by how wide the soundstage is and I don't want to spoil anything, but this reason alone is the reason why I use them as my new private headphones, even though this is kind of foreshadowing. If you never built headphones before, there's a good chance that you won't be able to get good ANC or transparency mode because your competition had years of experience as a head start. And this is why the Sonos Ace surprised me the most. Firstly, the transparency mode is without a doubt better than 99% of headphones on the market. Above all, you can hear voices perfectly clear, almost like you're not wearing headphones at all. They are only slightly quieter than in real life. Usually transparency mode with other headphones has some noise to it. You can clearly hear the microphones working, but here we have eight microphones and they sound great. Like you can hear right now. Actually, there is an ice making machine making sounds out of frame and I think you can't hear it and you can't hear my voice quite clear. The ANC is also above average. I particularly like the fact that you don't really notice that it's on because there is no noise or rumbling or strange effect. The surroundings are simply much quieter. Not just when there is a consistent hump, but also when there are voices around. And this is usually the most difficult thing for headphones because voices are unpredictable. On the plane, the ambient noise drops to around 10%, so I was able to watch a film or listen to music at a pleasant volume level. I don't know how Sonos, a company that has zero experience in this area, can deliver this straight away. The transparency mode, the phone quality, the noise cancelling, all of that is at the top. And the battery life is also great. It's 30 hours, which is above average. Just in comparison, the AirPods Max from Apple last only half as long. And charging is also very fast. Just three minutes equates to 10%, which is three hours of playback. To be honest, I'm a little bit annoyed that Sonos did support this video because some people won't believe that I truly love these headphones. I think they sound great. They have an awesome transparency mode and active noise canceling. And those two things, they are very hard to pull off, especially if this is your first pair of headphones and that's why I'm so blown away by these. They are so good, I can't believe that those are Sonos' first headphones and I think that the features with the connection to the whole Sonos ecosystem is also great for the people that want to use it. So yeah, these are my next headphones. The only bad thing I can say about them is the price. It's 499 euros so they are quite expensive at launch but probably they will be sold out everywhere to start and then one day they will fall in price and I can highly recommend them.